thrips are a perennial pest of roses in Lubbock and our, our predominant species is the western flyer thrips. The uh, distinguishing characteristics of thrips are that they're tiny straw colored insects and can, can be found mostly feeding on the pollen in the blooms. I guess the best characteristic would be uh, for you men that shade, they look like little bitty whiskers in the bottom of the sink. To monitor thrips and roses, the uh, sampling technique is quite easy. You need to just simply uh, pull a bloom and go ahead and, and lightly beat that <coughs> bloom into the palm of your hand and look for those teeny tiny straw colored insects. Thrips damage is, is mostly uh, occurs in the bloom and most of the damage occurs within the uh, small developing buds on the plant. Uh, to control these pests using the organic method we can go with the uh, uh, insecticidal soaps. You can spray the actual <clears throat> foliage of the plant itself and, and the developing uh, buds and, and blooms but the problem with the, uh, with the small thrips in the buds is when they get inside here, we cannot reach them with the insecticidal soap or with an insecticide. And as mentioned before, most of the damage does take place inside these developing buds. And when they open up, then you can see the characteristic thrips damage. We suggest a, a systemic insecticide placed uh, in and around the plant early in the year such as merit. Foliar treatments of the plant include most of your pyrethroids and, and the insecticidal soap that, uh, that I mentioned earlier. Um, the difficulty with the, uh, uh, with the foliar applications is getting the, uh, the, the product to make contact with the thrips themselves. If you're trying to, to protect your buds and, and your opening uh, blooms, you need to treat every seven to ten days depending on the label. Um, products to look for would be uh, cyfluthrin, cypromethrin, and bifenthrin are some of the common pyrethroids found on, on today's market. Timing of your insecticidal uh, applications are, are very important to control the thrips on roses. Um, the best time uh, to treat when using a systemic insecticide such as Merit or the uh, imidacloprid would be to time your uh, insecticide applications at, uh, at bud break. So you want to get those on early in the year. For, uh, for your foliar applications, you, you need to watch for your developing buds and you need to start treating at, at the time that, that you see your flower buds starting to develop on the plant. Our thrips populations generally uh, uh, peak towards the end of August, but uh, because the roses are generally blooming in, in the spring, and our ever bloomings are actually blooming all summer long, most of the damage that you're going to see is going to occur on your first blooms of the year, especially on your, on your spring blooming roses. Um, also depending upon year, uh, if, if you go through a, a wet year, especially in, in, in the Lubbock area, if we have a wet spring, you can count on heavy populations of, of western flower thrips. For your ever blooming roses going in through July, uh, through the end of June into July, if we go, come out of a wet spring, then it uh, uh, quits raining, all the other available plants start drying down, then uh, you can have a, a mass uh, influx of, of adult western flower thrips uh, on your plants. So remember, if you're going to use an insecticidal soap, you need to make frequent applications um, every uh, three to five days. If you're going to use your foliar insecticides, such as the pyrethroids, you need to uh, make your applications every seven to ten days depending upon what the label says. Um, for those of you that use orthene or acephate on your roses, remember do not use that product in the, in, in the bright sunshine and do not spray orthene on an open bloom.